And canine behaviourist Kelly McFarlane joins us again on Pet Corner to look at how we can help our furry friends that are fussy eaters. Morning. Good morning. So what makes dogs fussy eaters? I mean, don't they just pretty much inhale anything? Some dogs do. I mean, if you're blessed enough to have a Labrador, then absolutely, they usually hoover all their food up. But there are quite a few dogs out there who, um, sometimes from health conditions, might be struggling to eat their food, um, certainly with sore teeth as well is an issue. And some dogs actually just get quite fussy. Mm. Um, as they general. get a bit older in general. Yeah. They have to, they just hoover everything though, don't they? They just have no idea, they eat everything. Cushions, oh, yeah. you name it, it just goes down, doesn't it? It's gone. <laughs> uh, so what should we actually be feeding our dogs? Uh, for lots of dogs, you know, majority of them are fed dry biscuits, so they're the complete meals and there's obviously lots of different brands out there. Some people as well do add in uh, a mixture of, of wet food as well. And, um, and then for other people, which of course we'll be talking about Monty um, soon, uh, you know, they end up doing a whole cuisine for their dog to try and desperately get them to eat their dinner. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no one's got time for that. No one's got time for that. So if, you're, if, if they are fussy eaters and you're worried that they're not getting the best nutrition, what can you actually do? I think the first thing anyway is if your dog actually goes off their food, so if they've always been fine eating, never any issues, first of all go see your own vet and just make sure it's definitely not anything with regards to health. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes some dogs um, just go off a certain type of food. You do know? they do that? Like we do, we just get bored or something? Yeah, some dogs can, you know, and other dogs, if they've been used to kind of grazing their food, so for example, you put the breakfast down, they don't eat it all and you leave it throughout the day, yeah. then again they can start to get quite picky um, mm. and start to, you know, Know, just have a little bit of a snack and wander off and then leave it for a while so that's what my dog does yeah so again ideally you know regulate their their food intake so morning and evening that's when you're getting it eat it now because it's going and for the rest of the day yeah uh, and you have been working with Monty who you just yes. mentioned is a bit of a fussy eater can you tell me about him yeah so Monty's a little old chap he's about 14 and uh, hasn't got many teeth and his mum had been having so many problems trying to get him to eat food um, he's also gained quite a few pounds as well because she he was adding in chicken and all sorts of stuff to his diet just to try and get him to eat yeah. and so we um, got her to do kind of a, a three-week challenge with the Newfoundland's hokey gravy and yeah to see if he'd eat his dinner. So that worked well on Monty? Yeah yeah absolutely I mean she's really pleased and um, basically it was just all he needed was a teaspoon on each meal and that was it he actually ate, ate the lot. So what, so it's a gravy that you stick on their food? Yeah so it's a unique um, fish gravy uh, which is hence why it's called hokey because mm. uh, it comes from the fish hokey and um, as you mix it into their food it actually enhances the natural flavours of the food and certainly for the dogs it's very palatable um, and even cats as well, it's very palatable and it smells great to them. So yeah, he tucked in. What does it smell like to us? Uh, I don't know, I haven't got close enough, so. <laughs> but it's something delicious that it, they love. It, wasn't, it certainly wasn't so when I popped the lid off, I, I didn't want to mix it in the food, so mm. yeah. What's actually in it? Um, so as I say, yeah, it's made actually from, from the hokey fish and, um, and it's basically then been made up into the gravy specifically for them. So yeah. It's good that you see the first two ingredients are, yeah. are fish concentrate in water. That's, That's right. It's a good yeah. sign. Yeah. And you're saying so it's not just dogs but cats as well. Yeah. And um, as I say, there's no kind of artificial additives to this or anything like that. So it's all, yeah, it's all basically from the if fish. If the animal likes it, then probably give it to them. Yeah. Excellent. Exactly. Hey Kelly, good advice as always. Uh, and thank you. It's a really cool product. Now to see Monty's full story. Or you can go to the cafe Facebook page and we have three Newfoundland's hokey gravies to give away.